Hello and welcome back to a brand new Lush Life video. I'm your host, Leon, joined by the illustrious Mrs. Lush, who is my wife and my co-host. Han, you know the biggest story in the world right now. The Golden Globes just happened. Yes, I do know that that happened last night. Did you? Was it last night? Does anyone care about these shows anymore? Probably, I guess, which is why yeah. they still go on. I used to love award shows. Could not care less now. I think part of that's just how I've progressed as a human and I've been so involved online. So, like, I don't watch as many traditional legacy media broadcast because I find them drab and dry and annoying and over, overly on woke hosting, and stupid. I think it can be fun. Yeah, no, I agree. But the most important part, and I definitely didn't steal this from Cody and his girlfriend, which I do for most of their content, but uh, they like to sit down and go through the worst and best dressed okay. from these award shows. They do the Emmys typically. So this is, we're taking the Golden Globes now. I don't even know what the Golden Globes are in awards for. Is that television? TV, yeah. It's TV? Okay. Right? Yep. Yes. Uh, so we're just going to scroll through these outfits and shit on people. I'm kidding. They're going to look amazing, and we're going to talk about the beautiful high fashion. Uh, Jenna Ortega. I, I'm just... What? You yeah. want to talk about how people are dressed? My, my wife, I didn't tell her we were doing this. She's like, what are you talking about? I thought Honey, you were going to come out with something. You should be happy. We're looking at fashion right now. You love this stuff. I mean, I mean, it's not really your forte, but you, it's, it's not. more interesting to you than Reddit if memes. Can we like rate people's athleisure? Because that's what I live in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenna Ortega is like the hot thing right now, by the way. Don't Just, even know who she is. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait. She looks familiar. Yeah. From Netflix? Yes. From, okay. Okay. She's, hello. We thought we're early to the party because we thought she was cool first from the show You. She was in season two of You, remember? Don't have it. Nope. She was the Don't super remember. young girl from the season girl. Uh, Her older sister is the one uh, that... Yeah, so now she's like mega popular because of the show Wednesday, which is like yeah, a Netflix yeah. remake of Adam's Family or whatever. Whatever. Sure, yeah, I know exactly who she is. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, Hillary Swank, what are we talking about here? Pregnant, classy. How do we feel about, what are these? What are those? Like things for the <laughs> she's, 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 a, she's a whore. She's got jingle bells, stirrups. Jingle bells. She's got stirrups on. <laughs> oh, God, it's terrible. Is that like, I like it's green. Like a, it's like an extended bow tie. Jean Smart, who is that? No idea, but classy. You like the bag? For an older woman. And yeah. yeah, I think she nails it. Nothing yeah. to say there. Eddie Redmayne, legend. What the F is that? Dude, that corset. Corset, is that what it's called? No, the corsage. Boutonier? Corsage, boutonniere, that's what I'm looking for. Wait, terrible. or is it, what's a corsage? Corsage? I think you're making words. Is, is that a word? <laughs> is a, is a corset that? is a thing that you put I know what the corset you is. But I swear a corsage is something, right? Hold on. The the wrist one. 20 minutes later. Oh, part of, shit. All right, oh, yeah, you, you, know, you should know that more than I should. Oh, a yeah, wrist so thing? Like a corsage. Oh, yeah, a corsage is like a wristwatch for females, right? No, it's the flowery one that you put that on your wrist. That you pin on your shirt. And the boutonnieres for the men. Anyways, anyway, Eddie, Red, Eddie Redmayne's boutonniere is fire. I love that. I hate it. I don't know much. I, like it's Eddie. the size Red, of his face. Eddie Redmayne's kind of a don't legend. Don't even know him. He plays like the perfect, like, autistic genius. I don't know. I, there's de Oh, you know who he played? Uh, that You know why I think that is? Because he played Stephen Hawking, and I, I believe in a Stephen Hawking film. Okay. He's cool, though. Uh, Sebastian Stan, no clue who he is. Classy. You can't go wrong with a black and white, like, tux style yeah. thing. Um, nothing to see there. Anna de Armas. I feel like that's something you, like, you might wear. You love on my windows for curtains. You love <laughs> it does look a little bit like a curtain. Maybe that's why I thought you would wear it because me. every fabric we've ever got in our household looks similar to that. Yeah. <laughs> she just, looks good in it, but it's, it's very that, curtain esque. That was a very deep breath to come out with nothing afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Kelly Coco. Oh, that's the girl from Flight Attendant. Yes. Oh. She, she's pregnant, yes. Okay. Yes, I, she's pregnant. Oh, yeah. I was so you scared to say that. You should be very afraid to say that. Uh, but yeah, clearly she's pregnant. All right, good for her. Classy. I think it looks good. Uh, and Anya Taylor-Joy? No idea no who that is. No who that is. Well, Anya Taylor-Cheeseburger, maybe. Let's get a calorie in her. Is that not good to say you anymore? You can't say it anymore. I'm just kidding. She looks wonderful. You do you, Heroin boo. chic You're is like a thing. <laughs> Have you heard of that? That's coming back. Low rise jeans. <laughs> Be skinny, don't eat. Did you say heroin chic? Yes. It's a term. Oh, You've never heard that? No. That's so. It, but that's. I can't say I have a cheeseburger, but you're allowed to be heroin chic. It's a thing. 
And you can, I don't know, if you want to tell me the cheeseburger, I'd be thrilled. <laughs> no, uh, but, but heroin, that's exactly how I would describe that. That's heroin yeah. chic. It's oh low, my it's God. It's supposed to be back in right now we but are then there's the opposite end of the spectrum trying to <coughs> argue against that look and i think of course you're not allowed to be thin anymore that's that's but maybe that's, that's, not, just that's just how she looks not inclusive of course i know so i'm i'm i'm, I'm, right. I'm teasing but heroin she, that is funny that's ex, that's exactly so now how we're talking about her body instead of her clothing great that did happen well, you know, that's I like the outfit. It's about to happen. Outfit looks good. A little bit of mustard on there. Millie Al Millie Alcock. You know what they say? He was no balls, all cock. That's that's sorry. A little inside joke between you me. You should know who she is. She's from House of Dragons, it says. Oh, that's that girl. Oh my god, yeah, I had no idea. Love that show though. Uh looks good, classy, yeah. like the outfit. It's all right. Classy. I think she's pretty. She was I like her better as a Targaryen, but that's just because I like to live in fantasy lands. Coleman Domingo. It's harder to judge the guy's stuff because it's just all. Well, for you, for me, I love this suit. I uh, like that. I'm wondering, are those like sequins? It says beaded suit. Beaded. All right, Something. no, yeah, I think he looks sharp as a tack. I like that I like a lot. It. Fits him great. I know I've seen him in stuff. I don't know what, but I, I remember liking him. I, there's something about this dude. I can't stand him. Dude. I cannot stand him, and I think it's just this is gonna. This is very mean. Oh, I God. think it's just his face. I don't like him. No, a very punchable face. Yeah. 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 No, I would. I would. Like I, would slap him. I was. I was never a bully in high school, but if I went to high school with this kid, I'd be putting him in lockers. No question. She's something about him. And his can't outfit stand him. That outfit's trash. I hate it. What is I'm this so waistband? Mean. What is this waistband? That's like, like the whole that thing. That comes with tuxes sometimes. Different tuxedos. This guy, anyway, he I needs don't to like be it. Bullied. What is that like a? I don't care. A ribbon around? His Fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm playing it up a little bit now. I forget. He's in a bunch of stuff. Everything he's. Oh he's no! In everything, you know what? I, I take it back. I watched a show on Apple TV with him in it. It was phenomenal. Now I feel bad. Yeah, it was really good. I'm not saying he's a bad actor. I've watched stuff with him too. Severance. Yeah, I watched Severance. He was fantastic in that. I take back everything I just said. This guy's cool. Yep. Next one. <laughs> Wow. Love Angela that dress. Bassett. That is nice. I'm going to give that dress like a 10 out of 10. I really <clears throat> like it. And she's got nice shoulders. She does have really nice shoulders. Yeah. And the shoes look nice. Yeah. Just a great outfit all around. Love I it. can't say anything bad about that. JLC. Classy as always. Classy as always. Look at that cape, dude. That's almost like the cape you wore in our intro video we did those oh years ago. Oh, my gosh. You guys, early Lush Lifers, remember that one. Uh, looks good. I've always liked Jamie Lee Curtis, I think, who's an actress since the era. The Arnold Schwarzenegger days. Jesus Lord, what is happening Excuse here? Excuse me? Emma, Emma DRC. Okie doke. That's <laughs> Scrolling on by. That is Abby crazy. Elliott. Who is that? The bear actress who was gorgeous, glimmering Cooper gown. We'll show I don't know her, but I will say of all the Prego outfits that we, maternity outfits that we've seen so far, this would be my favorite. I like it. She looks really good. That does look nice. I don't know what the bear is. Oh, I oh, do. Oh, I do know. The, I that's do. the video. I've seen this. I've seen it. That's the one with the about the cooks, right? You've watched that? Yeah. Who was she in that? The sister, maybe? I guess so. so because you were from the restaurant industry, maybe you would. That's why I liked it, because there was a lot of very accurate portrayals of what I mean, it's like in the restaurant kitchen. I'm not trying to go to bed kitchen. having any restaurant nightmares. Dude, but like being in the weeds nightmares? Yeah. Anyone from that's worked in the industry... You guys know in the comments, like, do you have, what are they called? Like, uh, call it restaurant nightmares. Yeah, restaurant nightmares where you literally have nightmares where you're just in the weeds and you can't get out can't. of it. I they still, don't go away. To this day, I, it's been six, five years since I've been out of the industry now, six. And I still sometimes get those nightmares and I wake up sweating. Lily James, that's a lot going on. It looks, is a lot. Looks nice. I like the middle of it. Not so sure about the outside. A lot of fluff. A lot of fluff. Okay with it though. Uh, Tyler James Williams. Nope. We'd love to use side down the fact the no. blue suit giving us. I don't hate it. It's very, it it's piece? unique. I love the brooch he has on. I don't know what that is. No, it is not a one piece. I think the, it's just a really short. I'm actually pretty mad at it. Tut, really? Yeah. It's unique. I, I don't mind, like, I like, like, I love the black and white tight, like the traditional, but it's just so, like, boring. You know, it's like, oh, that's, yeah. there's no risk taking in that at all. Well, the other guy added some sparkle beads to it. And yeah, that nice. looked good. Okay. It's not so much. All right. I don't, it looks very like old school, like like 1930s jazz. Does it almost. have like pleats in the pants? Like I don't know. pleated front? I don't know. Uh, Stifler's mom. She'll forever be known as that for me. Uh, Jennifer Coolidge. I thought everyone from White Lotus, is that what it is? White the White Lotus, Lotus called yeah. her. So White Lotus really revitalized else. like her career. What's her name now. in that show? Uh, I totally forget. 
I did watch both seasons of The White Lotus, though. Loved it. The first season was amazing. Second season I was on the fence with, but ended up okay. That's so weird, because I've heard that the second season was better than the first. No, absolutely not. That's crazy. I haven't watched either yet. That's crazy. But I probably will at some point. You should. They're both, they're both very good. That's weird. The interesting piece is, like, she is, to me, is the most annoying character by far in both seasons. Can't stand her. But she's good at her role. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, she's good at her role, but never been able to, it, even though, what's the show we watched together with her in it? No, that was another show I watched by myself. Oh my <laughs> I've seen a lot of stuff with her lately, and she's just annoying in every single one. Anyway, I think her dress looks beautiful. I think she looks great. Uh, Janelle James, don't know what she's from, but I think that looks nice. Nothing bad to say. I, These kind of shoulder talent tassels. Yeah. Huh. Is it pants? Classy and cheek. No, that's a dress. It's a very form-fitted dress. Okay. I yeah. think. No, yeah, I thought it split down here, but no, that's a dress, just the, the camera angle. Quinta Brunson. Nope. Eh. Quinceanera. I'm going to leave that one in the store, probably. Quinceanera. Oh, you <laughs> it looks like it's a quinceanera dress? Is that what you're saying? They were very, like, poofy. <laughs> Woo, dynamite dropping from Monty over here. Oh, God. Felicitas Rumbold and Daniel Brew. Don't know who those are. I feel like I recognize that dude's face, but uh, I think they look good. Dress looks a little wedding esque. Yep. You know, say you know, black tux. Lee looks classy. Nothing crazy. Cheryl Lee Ralph. I like that. I like the purple. A lot. I just love purple. I do too. Yeah, I do. I think it looks and good. And if you're going to an award ceremony, I think that's the time when you can wear all the sparkly stuff. So yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, Latita Wright. I don't know who she is, and I, I don't, don't really either. like that dress. Uh, she's from Wakanda Forever. Okay, actress from that. An abstract art. It is abstract. I don't know. I don't hate it. I think I don't like I I don't like the time. <coughs> if we're talking strictly body type, that's very heroin chic as well. She's I'm very... not talking about her body. I was talking about her dress, okay? <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people unhappy with that term even existing. It's terrible. I'm probably gonna get shit for saying it, but whatever. Uh, hey, listen. We're only human. I didn't make the term up. I thought it was funny when you said it. Yeah, it's clearly You thought I like came up with that? No, I knew you didn't come well, I don't know. I <laughs> I'd be actually pretty impressed if you did. Bailey Bass from Avatar. Looks nice. It looks a little bit like a Victorian curtain, but it's nice. Is that Paisley? I don't know. It's probably just its own unique thing. It's very, it's very, I don't know. It's nice. I think she looks good. Natasha Leone. Okay. Eh. It might go along with her. I, I don't know much about her Russian doll. She's got the gloves on. It doesn't look bad. It's just very. Plain. Heidi Klum. Classic yes, Heidi girl, Klum. How old is she? I was going to say, is, what is she? What she has an age. 58 going on 32 right now? Tell you, when you got those bucos, you can find that skincare routine or surgeon, I guess, or both. Interesting. Looks like she won a pageant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Billy Porter. No, this no, guy no. is known for his, ex I'm pretty sure. I don't know who he is, but I'm pretty sure he's well known for his incredibly over the top extravagant fashion. Just when we think he can't outdo himself, yeah, like he's, I feel like he's always in competition for himself to. I don't know. It's a statement for sure. Sure is. And I mean, that's the thing with these things. Like, there's things that might make sense, like they're good fashion, and then there's people that wear things just because they want to be talked about on blogs like this, right? I'm not saying it looks bad, though, if you're into any sort of metrosexual fashion. fashion. Donnie Glover. I'm not sure. <laughs> the okay. hand in the pocket. I don't know. Like, I don't hate it. He looks kind of badass. Like, I wish. Oh, he's got the gold chain on. He looks like he could be like a. Cartel member or something. something. I don't know why I think that. Yeah, Hugh Hefner energy. All right, sure. Yeah, the white, loose white linen. Donnie Glover's kind of a badass. No. Anyways. Michelle Williams. I, I like her. I'm I don't a, like that dress. I hate dresses like that. They, she looks like a whole bag of Lay's right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks like a whole bag of ruffle chips. Kettle cooked. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. Just. I, no. She's cool, maybe, but not a fan I'm of the I'm sure dress, that personally. that will be popular for some people who enjoy certain levels of high fashion, but sure. I don't like it. Nicole Byer. Also, no. Uh, She's got some lace up top, sure. too. I don't think she I don't is. Like all but that stuff. Yeah, the ruffle. I'm just not a big fan of it's ruffly things, anyways. Any sort of sparkle, ruffles. Sparkle, yes. Ruffle, no. All right. Yeah, same. Yeah, sparkle, Again. yes. Ruffle, no. Julia Garner. Oh, we that's. We love uh, her. Oh, she's the best actress, but the dress? Garbage. Yeah. I don't like your dress, Julia, but I like you. Legend from Ozark. And that that show you watched, I didn't see. Inventing Anna. Yeah. And there's something else that she, There's something else. She's a great actress, though. Um, I just... I, and whatever. Like, I just don't think this is the most flattering dress for her, I don't think. But who are, who are we to say? Good for you. 
AC Nash. That is all, a whole lot going on in the back there. Good lord. I know the front is really nice. Yeah, like without Again, the sh purple, without the sparkles. shawl. Like you look like you're wearing a du like a crumpled up duvet on your back. Like I don't. All right. I like the dress. Not yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Dress in. Dress ten. Duvet zero. <laughs> Barry Coogan. Is it like our duvet that gets like? <laughs> Dude, can't stand it. It gets uh. it just it, our duvet like. When it's not tied in the corner appropriately, like the actual comforter moves all the way to the other side, and I just get a bunch of force, duvet foreskin I have to sleep with. So it's like half of it's got comforter, and the other half is just like flimsy duvet foreskin. It's awful. And I go to bed after you, so you're all crumpled up in the good part. And I'm like just trying to cover myself with this little piece of duvet foreskin, trying to get warm. It's really, we. I live in hell up there, okay? It's tough times. You're fine. <laughs> We need so men just, to take notes. Just, I don't know um, about Kogan. the top, what's going on up there. I can't see too well. <coughs> that is a nice suit, though, the baby blue. I don't know if I, I mean, if you want to stand out and wear something with the, the traditional black and white tux, I think that that's a nice look. I don't know what's going on You think there. it would look better see. with like a bow tie? It looks like a scarf tied on yeah, this. Yeah, I'm not Just lean in like I've been doing. You know, lean in. Lean enhance. Back. Enhance. Oh, well, well. Enhance. Yeah, no, I don't like the It's like the a top, scarf. But the color Damn, his is eyes cool. are enchanting, though. Good Lord. Look at that. And Leon just fell in love. No, I just feel like I feel like I need to take a shower after he looked at me like that. That's the female gaze right there. I don't know. There's all this TikTok going on about this, whatever. That, that's that's female gaze. It has to be. What? You know what the female gaze is? Man, you live in a bunker, don't you? I love my bunker. <laughs> Barry. Oh no, <laughs> Daisy Edgar Jones looks too, ruffles okay. again. Yeah. Like I'd like the bottom. So like the top half of the dress is so nice. Yeah, it looks great. It could just kind of mermaid a bit, out. A little bit lingerie-esque on top, almost. Don't you think? Yeah, I don't need that. No, it looks good on her. Jeremy Pope. All right. Ooh, those shoes. Look at those. Holy crap. Like the pointed docks with the, the studded. Those are kind of gnarly. I think he looks kind of badass, honestly. Kind of. Yeah. I feel like if you're trying to pull off something different, it works. Yeah. I'll give it. I'll give it to him. Jessica Chastain. I like that a lot. It is. Spider Webby. I'd go saying that. I did. Well, what's the first thing? This guy looks like a spiderweb. But it looks good. Yeah. I like it. Sure. Give her, give her it's a pass. Sexy. And that's it. We've done it. Congratulations. Thank you for joining me on this trip down the Golden Globes. I mean, you know, you know, Mrs. Lush and I were very critical of uh, Hollywood fashion. It's all I think about. All I do. I'm just on fashion blogs all day long. I like to critique people in there. Nothing I could care less about. There's nothing more Hunger Games-esque than just like a bunch of people living in a world suffering and then just taking our time out to worry about the fashion of the rich and the luxurious in Hollywood. Insane. But it is, it's whatever can take our mind off the things, right? So it was fun to go through that with you and I appreciate you guys joining us for that ride. Let us know below which outfit was your favorite. Make sure to like and subscribe. Sorry. Don't, don't just don't. I, yeah, bye. See ya. Peace.